My guest today is a well-loved star on Broadway, TV, and Twitter. <laughs> she can now be seen on the ABC smash hit Nashville. I'm thrilled to welcome back to show people Miss Laura Benanti. Hello. Hi. Hi. Looking beautiful as what? always. Go on. Recently, I've been doing a lot of episodes where I'm sort of like acknowledging people on people on Twitter have told me they want certain guests. Yeah, back by popular demand. Uh, mine. You are always popular My demand, demand, but you also just blatantly requested. No, I was like. What's going on? Let's do this. And I immediately Let's sit down it up. and talk about me. Let's look. And we did it on Twitter. How about Tuesday? It's Tuesday. <laughs> Here we are. We're doing it. And you said that uh, Linda might have. My, my, Linda needs leads you on show people too. Yeah, Linda is my mom. Sal and Linda. Sal are, are, and Linda. They're, they're, they're kind of like they're kind of social media favorites too. Yeah, they absolutely are. I actually just love that photo you put up of you rolling into your concert in the back seat. Oh my God! Totally, I went Linda's from. Car. My parents' house, <laughs> just in the back seat of my parents' car, I love just it. like 35 years old. You're like that little girl being driven. Let's to take paper that mill. back. 28 years old. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're the same girl being driven to Milburn yeah. to win your Rising Star I Award am. at Paper Mill. I am. I have not changed. You're probably pa Paper Mill Playhouse's biggest Rising Star ever. No, Anne Hathaway. Oh. Bigger. Eh, I prefer you. Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so it's been like over three years yeah. since you, you were one of my first guests on this show. Yes. And I'm thrilled that you're back. Me and a too. lot has happened to you, bro. Whoa! I mean, that's a, that's that you live a life. I mean, you you do you do a lot. I'm just living my life. Just living that life. YOLO. <laughs> no. You have uh, everything been, I did is not YOLO. <laughs> you've been on TV a lot. Been on TV a lot. You were like on what Big C, The Good Wife. Uh huh. Uh, SVU. Uh, 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 well, the Playboy, Playboy Club, Club actually. Yeah. You're on the cover of Playboy magazine. Yeah. My, is my that framed somewhere? No, it's like side boob, a little it's side like boob. It's like framed in a garbage can Do in you, my dad's basement. Yeah, <laughs> the side boob was very daring. I like that. There's a lot of side boobs. Thank boob you for that. Happening. You're welcome. Uh, I, I know they, you they, in particular were super. No, they into all it. they all love it. My camera guys, thank you for the Nick side did. boob. Um, and uh, go on. That, that was that was a one season. Yes, show. That was and then you were on this little thing called season. Sound of Music Live, which we're going to get to. Yes, that was a, that was a thing. Yeah, that was a thing. And now you're on Nashville. Yes, I had put out an album. Yeah, you did concerts. I did concerts. You did like American Songbook Food for Below. I saw that show. That was amazing. Thank you for Below. Much. And then you made an album of it. I did a live album. There's there's a lot. And then you're uh, you're number one on Twitter. I'm number one on Twitter. Number one, I'm number not sure one, what poll that is, but yep. The, our that's poll, accurate. the number one funniest Broadway person on Twitter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I am. Yeah, Leslie Margarita's pissed. Sorry. Um, and I voted for myself also. I was you, like, oh, obviously me. <laughs> <laughs> you did The Tempest. You did The Most Happy Fellow. Oh, I mean, yeah. You, I did, you yeah, do I did a lot. Things. Now and you're, you're single. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I got divorced again. I know. We talked about your divorce last time. It's like, that's going to that, be the topic. At least I keep trying. At I least mean, you, you keep can't trying. like fault a girl for trying. The last time you came here, you said that your mom was afraid that you were going to become, become Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor. So you're one step closer. Yeah, I really am. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. Is there a number three in, in sight? Uh, husband number three? I, I, there's a number three in sight. Mm. He's not an actor. Is that that guy I've seen photos of? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Patrick. Good, 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 good He's for great. You. He's the director of marketing in an online education company. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I actually do know what it means. But at first, in the beginning, he was like, he would explain to me what he did. And he'd be like, no, say it back. And I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> you're sort of taken. You're not, like on, yeah. you're not like on Tinder or swiping or. Listen, I'll always be on Tinder. No, I've never <laughs> been on Tinder. Can you imagine me on Tinder? It'd be so weird. I wanted to ask you what you were like in the dating world. Like, are you good at that? No. Do you immediately do you immediately walk in with your fame, your Twitter, TV, and Broadway? Yeah, because guess what? Straight dudes are super into is Broadway. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> um, no, I I uh, I'm not good at dating. Right. I'm not into like game playing and mm. like and like now like, I had sex with you and now you're never gonna call me again. Like I'm not. Yeah. Not I'm... that that would ever happen to me. <laughs> For you, mom. She's like, no. <laughs> God, where's Patina Miller's? She's so classy. Um, no, I. So yeah, I'm taken, and he's awesome, and he's younger than me. Cougar Town. Congratulations. Thank you. He's six years younger than me. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he turns 29 tomorrow, so that's wow. exciting for me. Yeah, wow. I like to call that birthday. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so he hasn't seen all your Broadway credits. 
Do you have to no, explain them to him? Saw, Do you say like, and this is my hilarious song from Women on the Virgin Nurse Breakdown, you know and let me explain funny? to you what it was. It's actually his brother, Nick, uh -huh. is this 23-year-old like ex-college football player. He's like okay. the straightest person you're ever going to meet, and he is the biggest Broadway fan I've ever met in my life. So he knows He has all a stuff. spreadsheet of the shows he's seen, <laughs> what he thought of them, and the shows he wants to see in order of importance. Wow. I mean, he's like adorable. He'll... he'll um, her text me and be like, the boards are saying you're real funny on Twitter. And I'm like, <laughs> Nick, thanks for keeping me up to date. So, so he was like a little bit more excited than even Patrick was. But um, so Pat had never seen me um, on Broadway before, but he came to see Most Happy Fella, and he was like, whoa, that was whoa, good. Whoa, yeah, and he, that. and he saw me at 54 Below. Okay. Um, and he saw the Sound of Music live and all oh, of that stuff. Okay. So he definitely. He knows what's He's going on. He's on the train. Yeah, and he has to hear me practice the guitar for Nashville and sing a <laughs> hundred times a day where he's just like. <laughs> okay, great segue because I want to talk about Nashville. Yes. So this, 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 you actually were really excited when you got. Yes. So. I love Nashville. Right. Yeah, I know. You've been very vocal about that. What yeah. do you love about it? Well, I love Connie Britton. Right. So I, know I loved Friday Night Lights. Where did that obsession. Okay, Friday, Friday Night, Night Lights. Lights. Yeah. yeah. People I are just, obsessed with her. She's like a unicorn. Yeah. It's so weird how delightful and beautiful she yeah. is. And she's so smart and funny and, and also like a UN ambassador. We were like, how do you have time? <laughs> and her hair right. is, you know, right. made of right. angel's wings. Um, so I was like obsessed with her from that. Right. And then Had I- Had you met her before? I met her one time. Okay. She doesn't remember this, thank like God. Like a fangirl moment? Yeah. <laughs> I met her at a party in Los Angeles and everybody was all dressed up and she had her shoes off. And I was like, oh, of course you have your shoes <laughs> off, you magical angel baby. <laughs> And um, and I was like, oh my God, I love you so much. And she was like, thanks, thank you. She was actually nicer than that. She was like, oh, that's so sweet. I was like, no, literally, you're my favorite actress. You're my Meryl Streep. Oh. And she was like, okay, all right. Wow. Um, wow. Thankfully, she doesn't remember that. <laughs> did you remind her? Yeah, I don't okay. know why I did. Right. I was like, remember when we met each other? And she was like, mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, and I was like, well, this is what I did to you. And she was like, yeah, I still don't remember. I was like, great. Um, but now she and I are like pals. So you're, so and you're cool. playing what? You're playing like a country western singer. My, my character's like name is Sadie and Stone. And she's a singer songwriter. So she's been songwriting for other people for years. Oh, okay, one of and them. And then she has recently had like a breakout album where people are, where she's having more mainstream success. Okay. Um, it's very, it's very fun. And what, what is the fashion like? Is, do you get to wear some like fun? I get to wear some really cool stuff. Country western? I do. I mean, it's not like head to toe fringe and like a cowboy hat, <laughs> but it definitely is. It's actually stuff that I wear in real life. Okay. Um, but you know, I, I wear these very cool like bell bottoms that okay. cost like so much money. I saw. And you're going to be country singing. There's going to be songs. Yeah, two songs so far. We'll see wow. what ends up happening. Nice. Mm -hmm. And is there going to be like like drama and sex and? No the, sex for this guy so far. No sex for this guy. No, not so far. I mean, okay. what I actually really enjoy about this character, it's more about her friendship with Raina okay. and her like coming into her own uh -huh. as, a, as a performer and okay. not as a songwriter. So it's more about her career, which okay. I really dig. So she's not a slut. Not she sounded like a slut when I heard yet. her name. I don't know. It sounded a little slutty to Sadie me. Sadie Stone? Yeah, yeah, no. She definitely says, she's like, hi, I'm Sadie Stone. She's like at the bar at like 3 a.m. Season, maybe they the call next shutting season. the bar down a Sadie Stone. <laughs> so would you be down with this just being like a good, like, like what if they just, what if they do a spinoff, like a Sadie Stone spinoff? Would you be down with that? Like, let's just, yeah, yeah let's just do that. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to do that too. Gonna... I'm sure that's next <laughs> on their list. I heard, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's totally in gonna, the works. Connie's going to guest star on it. Yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. Definitely. You've been, uh, you haven't been on Broadway. I was thinking about I that. I haven't. I haven't been on Broadway since Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. I know. It's kind of mean to the Broadway fans. It's mean to my heart and soul, too. Is because, it? yeah, I really love it so much. Yeah. Um, but doing Most Happy Fella was so gratifying. Doing these concerts, I a little bit get my fix. Yeah. Doing Sound of Music was delightful in that way. And, and then there's something that is, I think, going to happen in 2016 that I can't tell you yet, but I'm very excited about it. You won't reveal it? No. Can't. Tell me later off camera. I will. Uh, so let's talk about Sound of Music because okay. you just brought it up. Yeah. Here's what was awesome about Sound of Music Live. Yeah. It's actually not one of my favorite shows. I'm not like a Sound oh, of I Music. Love it. You love it. I know I you love it. it. Well, it's a big part of your life. And yeah, it is. Your history. Yeah. Your Broadway debut in yes. Sound of Music. Yeah. Um, but what was fun about watching it, it was really fun to live tweet it. <laughs> I bet. It was, okay. and, and, and you know, it's you try not to be too mean, but yeah. but Thank when you're you. watching something like that, it's just naturally it happens. Yeah, sure. But the fun thing about it was, I was tweeting it, and then you were tweeting it. 
Like you, all you tweeted, I tweeted was like, Elsa out. Yeah, right when you were I done, but it was stage. so much fun because it was like we're watching it and they were yeah. watching you and you literally left the screen and then you tweeted. That was, that was the first thing I, I did. I appreciate that. Yeah. I think Audra McDonald tweeted too. I believe she did. I love that you had your phone so like handy to I just, had it in my boot. I you literally had it in, had boot? It in my boot and the, I walked immediately off stage, <clears throat> dug in my boot and, and tweeted Elsa out. But for me, I have to say Twitter has been so helpful for my career yeah, and it's been incredibly helpful for me showcasing my own voice. I think right. for so long you and I have talked about this, people were like, I didn't know you were funny. Right. And now I feel like people right. know that I'm funny. The and number one funniest person on, on Twitter, Twitter. On Broadway person on Twitter. Yeah. yeah, but it's because of Twitter. And I think that gave me the courage to start writing outside of 140 characters. So I've been doing a lot of you know creating my own content, which huh. has been really helpful. So doing stuff like that is super fun for me, but I also think of it as like part of my job a little bit. Right. We're continuing to, you know, I haven't been on Broadway in three years, right. but I still am like, I'm Broadway's Laura Benanti because of Twitter. <laughs> right, right. You know? So when you did Sound of Music, you mm -hmm. got a lot of attention yeah. for Sound of Music. Yeah. And usually the Baroness is not the person who gets a lot of attention. Sure. But you, it, it seemed like it was so much fun to watch your, your faces and your side eyes and your, I mean, there was a <laughs> lot, there, faces. Were, there was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. How intentional was that? Were you just in the moment no, or were you like, I'm going to give, no. I'm going to give the viewers a little moment here. No, I never think Because it was about, so funny. I never think about making faces. Like, I, I really don't. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't like practice all your sound music mirror, faces in I'm the mirror. Like, no, that's not <laughs> and it. then I'm going <laughs> to. No, that's not it. No, that's too much. No, it's just. Uh, There's a lot of animated GIFs of you now I because know. of this. I have a weirdly expressive face. And that's the one thing that's hard for me when I watch myself on TV. I'm like, what are you, Jim Carrey? Calm down. <laughs> like, I look at other people and they're just so natural and their face like hardly moves. And right. they're just like, they're like, God, you're so dropped in. You're so talented. And then I'm like, hey, everybody. It's just like so much rubbery face. So, so were you surprised right after it ended when you were like, oh, my God, everyone's like going on and yeah. on about how like funny and how mm -hmm. much I stole scenes. and Yeah, the goal, my goal was to like, stay under the radar. Okay. My goal was like, I just don't want to get shredded. Right. I was not expecting like gaze for Elsa, team Elsa. I was not expecting like <laughs> gifts of my or gifs or whatever it's called of my face. Like I didn't expect any of that. So it was a really pleasant surprise. And it's a really good lesson in expectation. Had mm. I gone in thinking, I want to get all of these things out of right, that, right. I would have been so nervous and I wouldn't have been in the moment. Right, right. And I would have been just like like a little wooden right. nutcracker right. instead of playing. Right, you right. know, which is really what it is, where you're just playing. Do you watch the DVD often of the Sound of Music every Live? Night. Never, every night, never reliving it. Yeah, I don't know. Every night I watch it. Right Did before Linda I go and to Sal bed. enjoy it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they were very proud of me. Do you like really close to your your family? Yeah, my sister like. too. My sister Marielle. Yeah, yeah, it's we're nice. super close. We go on a family vacation. I every saw summer. photos from your family vacation. <laughs> we go on family vacation. Where were you, like out west? Mm -hmm. We were in California. Nice. Yeah, in um, Point Reyes. Uh -huh. um, it was so beautiful. And the year before we went to the, uh, I almost said the Big Sur, like it's the Big Chill. We <laughs> went to the Big Spa. <laughs> and uh, my dad, re our dad, reproposed to um, oh, yeah. our mom, which is right. so, so beautiful. Amazing. It was like right after my divorce, too. So I was like, this is so wonderful. I'm so glad this is happening. Was that like your family? Like, like let's take Laura away and like, let's have, let's have, like, let's have some. The no, healing. We, we had planned it. We had planned okay. it before then. We had planned it for a while, but it, it was incredible. I literally went on a, I, I went to San Francisco and I sang with the San Francisco Gay Men's right. Chorus and they were with Andrew Lippa and they just took me in and yeah. made me feel so good. And then um, I went on vacation with my At the end of the family. day, the gays are always going to be there for you. Listen, a big absolutely. Gay hug. It's just like a big gay pillow. <laughs> um, and then I went on a gay cruise to Alaska on which I brought my entire family. Okay. So that was also magical. But we're also the universe was like, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you on a boat with 1,200 gay men who want nothing to do with what you got going on. Right. Like you got to stay right. away and just focus on yourself and focus on your family and like right. get, feel better. Good for you. Yeah. So Twitter. Yes. How, how big is your writing staff for your Twitter account? Uh, hundreds of people. <laughs> all, uh, all in here. Because I always knew you were funny, but I'm actually amazed at how funny you are on Twitter. Thank you. I mean, is, is, is it come easy for you to be? Yeah, but I, I craft them. You, you know, it's not like them. I'm. It's not like I'm just like. Well, I wanted to ask you. So if I asked you, if I challenged you to like write a tweet right now. Yeah. Could Where's you? My phone. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, you, your, what tweet do you want me to no, write? I don't know. I want you to like say something. I want you to like. Like acknowledge the moment and like just I don't know. I has to for me it's it's based on actual events. My like my somebody Twitter. like like on the, like, somebody walking by you on the street. Yeah, that, like, I yeah, have I don't know if I have like something. My aura says like 
be freaking weird around me. Like, come be weird right. around me. Like, yesterday I was walking down the street and a dude dropped onto the ground, did five push-ups. I saw that tweet. Got back up and left. And I was like, whoa. Tweet yeah, it. Tweet, tweet it. it. Tweet it. Tweet it. And then a man walked up to me. I had my headphones in. And I don't know what's wrong with me that I didn't feel his presence immediately behind me. And he just whispered into my ear as creepy as possible. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy. is what he said to me. It was so upsetting <laughs> and weird. Right. But also hilarious. And then I tweeted that. Right. So nothing's happened since you got here to Broadway.com for this. I poked myself in the eye doing my makeup in the cab Did on the way here. Did you tweet that yet? Not yet. Do you want to come up with a tweet? And I'll do it later. You won't I, do it. I, you won't I do it on a camera. Well, no, you have to confer have... with your writing staff. Yeah. I need to talk to all my writers. <laughs> no, but I do. I take the time to to craft these tweets. It's it's a hard, actually. It's, it's, I think of it like a comedic puzzle. It's 140 characters, and sometimes you know, omitting a word or putting a word in a different place can make all the difference in terms right. of the comedy. And that truly has helped me, and now I'm, I'm writing other things that are more than 140 characters. And, and I credit Twitter with that. You're now writing? Yeah, I'm writing stuff for myself. Oh. Yeah, I'm writing a book, and I'm writing... You're writing a book? I am, I'm writing a book. A, about what? Where actually the editor um, found me on Twitter. This amazing. And what lady. are you writing? Is it a secret? I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. Is it it's, like it's about you? Jokes. Yeah, it's not like a memoir. I mean, I'm. Is it like a guide? Is it like Lena Dunham's like guide no. for up and coming girls? How, who am I going to guide? Everyone's like, I don't want. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't want your guidance. How I get divorced before, <laughs> twice before the age of thirty-three? How to? Nailing it. Yeah, nailing it. Exactly. <laughs> um, I no, think Elizabeth it's, Taylor's it's a good more... role model, though. Pardon? Elizabeth Taylor's a good role model. Is she? I don't know. No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> Um, talented, She's pretty. Super pretty. <laughs> lavender eyes, but that's about it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm writing that and I'm writing, I'm co writing a pilot and doing all sorts of stuff. Look at you. All sorts of writing. Wow. Very exciting. I mean, I, ha I have to. I, I'm so tired of reading scripts where it's like, she's a model and a doctor, and she rides a motorcycle, and she loves puppies, right. and she has three kids, but she's 25 years old. And you're like, <laughs> mm. Right. You've been like a working actress since you were a teenager. I was 18, yeah. Right. I mean, you've, I'm trying to think if you've had any stretches of like, I need a backup plan. I you, always feel that way. You always feel that way? Yeah. I always feel like this is it. This, this is, is it. the last job. Nashville's the this last This is it. This gig. is when everyone's like, guess what? We hate you. <laughs> it's it's yeah. all will be revealed yeah, on Nashville. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, never mind. No, we hate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. Time to do something else. So maybe your backup plan now is writing. Yeah, well, honestly, as I'm as I get older, um, you don't I, look like you've gotten older. I actually, you know, what's weird, and this is going to sound kind of shitty. I said shitty. Sorry about that. <laughs> is I actually feel younger now than I did when I was 18. And sometimes I look at photos of myself, and I feel like I do look younger. You were a serious 18 year oh, old. Oh, dude. Well, yeah, I, I had to be. I was in this yeah. world of grown ups that I was like, right. I deserve to be here. Right. You know. And right. then all of a sudden, I was like, Oh, I don't have to act like that anymore. Anyway. Right. It's been fun watching you become more fun. Blossom. Blossom it's, and just become a little silly. It's been fun watching me blossom? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been fun watching that process. I, I can't imagine you as like a 50-year-old. Like you're just going to be like... I'm just going to be like a baby. Like, like some, you're going to be like some changing crazy my diabetes. Just like just get crazy and nutty. Yeah. Like a nutty... I think this is as nutty as it gets. This, this is, is just my... This is my personality. This is how I was born. And then I just was like, I have to be so serious because I'm, I've always wanted to be on Broadway and now I'm here and I need right. people to know that I'm professional. Right. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I can just be myself. Oh, great. Right. That's better. <laughs> I right. like that more. We love it. You seem like maybe I'm maybe I'm uh -oh. just guessing this, but I I feel like you'd be intimidating for other women to work with. Do, what? You, do you find that? Do you find that you like? No. Do you naturally get along with other actresses? It depends on the actress. Well, okay. Well, here's my question. So if you the, the like the the Broadway ladies, ladies yeah. of Broadway, yeah. right? I want to know because uh -huh. I, I want to get in your head a little bit about uh -oh. what you like and okay. people. Okay. Let's pretend like we we were doing like a reality show and you yes. had to be locked in a house. Okay. With like five Broadway leading ladies. Okay. Patty Lapone. Easy. Number one. <clears throat> Celia Keenan Bolger. Okay, she's fun. Like, oh, she's. We love her. I love her so much. I love um, that you crossed your legs for this. I know. You, I got you excited. Loved it. You got really excited about this. <laughs> um, so that's two. Two. Cel two Keenan bedrooms Bolger. down. So far, I would watch this show. Okay. Just the three of you. Adina. Would. Adina Menzel. Yeah. Do you, um, yeah, have you hung out with Adina a lot? Yeah, I love Adina. Right. She's amazing. Yeah. And I'm really happy to see like all her tremendous success. Yeah. Because I know it's not been an easy Me time too. for her either. I have two more. Two more, yeah, sure. Uh, Cheetah Rivera. Why not? I mean... You did yeah. nine with her. And um, I'm trying to think, because I feel like we have like 
Cheetah and Adina and Patty. That, That's like an intense group. And then like me and Celia who are like, Bleh. right. So I feel like we need like one more, one more of those. One more. Ooh, Annalie Ashford. Annalie Ashford. I love that. Yeah. But can we, let, they, let's just do this. Yeah. And every one of them has sat in here. So I like that. I know, I know every one of these ladies. They're all I'm good. rubbing my butt on their Your butt. Your butt is on every. Rubbing my butt on their butt. Yeah. Yeah, you're rubbing it. Yeah. Rubbing it on them. So you'd be down with something like that? Yeah. The sisterhood? Yeah. The Broadway sisterhood? I, here's what my, my dad, Sal, always told me. If, if you think of life as like a big, giant wall, if you spend your time climbing it all the while trying to claw other right. women off of it, right. no one's ever going to get anywhere. Right. Just keep climbing, get to the top, and then reach down and start pulling people up. Because this is a man's world a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there are more women for fewer female roles, and just like tons of dudes, right? Or no, like a few, actually like a fewer amount of actors, right? For tons of dude parts, right? So I feel like sorry about it, actors, but I feel like it's an easier gig a little bit getting right. jobs as a man. And look how many talented women there are, not just in musical theater and theater, but you know on television and in this world and waiting on you and you know. Um, so I don't really understand that whole, like, there isn't enough room for the both mm -hmm. of us. I don't believe that that's true. Right. I believe that if you are fully yourself and you are magnificent, mm -hmm. then that only, I only get to bask in your reflected glow, mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not, I try not to be jerky like that. I, I don't ever really feel that way. I feel jealous sometimes. Right. There are definitely some times where I've auditioned for something and I then see it on TV and I'm like, oh, really? Right. Like a model? Ugh. I get mad. <laughs> but for the most part, I just feel like, I feel a sense of sisterhood. Connie's that way too, which is very cool. Nice. Yeah. People, people bring you up as like the person that, that's getting all the jobs sometimes. They do? Yeah, I've heard that. Like everyone wants, From everyone who? wants Benanti. I don't everyone feel like that's Benanti true. For, who wouldn't want you in their musical? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you, uh, these are the people that don't want me in their Yeah, <laughs> I actually just thought of someone. I was like, I said that out loud. <laughs> That. This one does that's not. That's not cool. <laughs> no, don't do that. Now, you talk about those ladies, and of yeah. course, we love thinking of you and Patti LuPone together because that was sort of a legendary pairing, right? Yeah, that was A Tony-winning legendary pairing. It was, and then we worked together again on Women on the I know, Bush. and that was legendary, too. Was it? I loved it. I loved it, too. I, just, I love that wig she had. Remember the motorcycle oh my wig? God, the that best was moment so ever. Good. Does Patti LuPone, like, um, text? Yeah. Do, do hey, you, doll. Yeah. You, you get texts from her? I get texts And it from literally her. is, hey doll? That's like the most obvious thing she would say. Yeah, but we do. We text. I, I actually have some amazing text conversations where sometimes I'll look down and see my thread and I'm like, oh, I'm so fancy. That's a pop song. That That is fancy, though. That is fancy. I mean, like, to, to have your phone light up and have you paddle upon, paddle upon, yeah. thinking about you. I know. Right? I love her. Do you see any, like, dream projects for you guys could, like, reunite? Yes. Every, I mean, everything I write has Patti LuPone. Oh. So. Okay. Um, I, I just want to work with her forever and ever and ever. You're writing pilots. I wonder if you could write one to incorporate all five of those women. Sure. Yeah, can you do that? Yeah, I'm that, sure they'd all be down and available. Well, wouldn't they, they would all be down. Yeah. They would all they would be. If we said, like, Laura Benanti is writing a funny show yeah. starring all of those women that we sure. love, why wouldn't they? Good question. We'll film it let's if we can't get out of that. Let's get all of them on the phone real quick, Nick. Yeah. Could you just, uh, <laughs> oh, you're asleep? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not asleep. So, so hopefully Broadway soon. Yeah. We miss you. We yeah, miss you on Broadway. I miss Broadway. But you're right, it does feel like you're around. Yeah, I mean, I, I try. I, I try with the concerts and the. I'm also doing another concert um, in February that also I can't really tell you about, but it's really exciting. But it's in February. I can tell you secret that. Secret projects. I know, so many secret projects. Well, uh, whenever you want to come here, just drop me a tweet. Just tweet you. And literally, anytime you Great. want to be here, we'd love to have you here. Thank you. And I can't wait to hear what all your secret projects are. I know. Sorry. I probably should have come on here when I could tell you what they are. Well, but even more exciting than when people watch, they'll be like, like, that's what she was talking about. That's what she was talking about, that secret show. It's like show. an Easter egg hunt. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense. You have to rewrite that tweet. Yeah. I'm still, that's still in progress. I hope you, will you write a tweet about this interview, I hope? Yeah. Okay. Back by my popular demand. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll take a selfie. Why don't let's you just do, tweet that right, right now. now? I'm going to. Yeah, there you go. So let's you. do my good side, which I haven't been on this whole mm. damn time. So you can tweet that? Yep, back by my popular demand. Yeah, let's tweet that right now. Back by parentheses my Good. popular demand. Do you guys just want to keep filming me tweeting? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I did it.
You sent it? Yep. You tweeted. Tweeted. So you came up with a tweet on your own? All right, I believe you yeah. now. You're, you're, you're smart, you're smart, funny, pretty girl. Look how pretty you are. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Laura Benanti. Thank you. I, I and everyone, I'm going to watch Nashville, yes, ABC, please. Wednesday nights, 10, 10 p.m. PM. Come back to Broadway soon. I will. And come back here. I will. And we love you. I love you guys, too. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.